So let me introduce myself first. My name is Saif al and I am under the Cotetel program between Deakin and Coventry University. So uh, the title of our project is um, Gamified Immersive Museum Experience for Engineering and Design Heritage. So um, we focus in this project about the Frederick Lanchester car, which is developed 100 years ago. But first, let me give you um, a short background about our research and what it is about. So we know that museum is not only a place for displaying artifacts and objects, but also um, a place that contain a wide range of knowledge. And because different visitors require different type of interaction and different visitor also uh, got different way of understanding things. So um, the lack of contextualization could interfere with the actual meaning. And that's why the interpretation is very important here, how we can deliver the precise meaning. Imagine if one, each one of us uh, interpret this object differently. So this is gonna be a huge problem for, for, for in terms of um, knowledge wise. So, um, we used immersive technology, um, virtual reality, as as the to bridge the gap um, uh, in this area. So to to provide the precise meaning of of engineering heritage. So um, uh, as I mentioned, engineering heritage is the problem with it is it's not um, it's a very complex subject to understand for ordinary people. Um, so. That's why we are used. We developed a framework um, uh, which is which allow us to bridge these gaps of knowledge uh, between visitors and the objects in the museum objects. In our case, we choose Frederick Lanchester a bit of electric car. So the bit of electric car, or let's say Frederick Lanchester in general, he was a pioneer. He was an engineer uh, person. So. Um, he developed many theories related to aerodynamics, the first British wheel um, uh, and uh, a car, and also the disc bricks, uh, uh, as, as you can see. Uh, so what we choose, we focus in this research in this object, which is um, the hybrid car, a uh, bit electric car. So what's so special about this object, it was a way ahead of its time. So it is a petrol, um, and they looked at the same time. So the, there is an issue. There was only one prototype of this car, a display at the moment at Birmingham Science Museum. So um, what we did basically, we created a 3D model of this car, interactable model. So I used Maya to create the um, high poly version of it. Um, and then exported these objects to Unreal Engine to create uh, the actual virtual um, game, uh, which is based, based there. So now technology is very, when we use technology, it's important to mention that we don't wanna use it just for the sake of innovation, but also technology should also interact with the museum environment and make it seamless with the experience. So technology should interact with the narrative that we want to tell. And that's why we are using storytelling here. We are focusing on storytelling to interpret these contents um, of museum. So as you can see in this picture, um, uh, so this is an actual picture from the game, um, uh, which interprets the, uh, well, let's say we wanna take the visitors, it's like a time machine. We're gonna use this virtual reality like a time machine. We're gonna take them to the past and experience um, Frederick Lanchester office, the workshop where he was working. Um, um, so we used gamification theories and, um, to, to, uh, and strategies to allow the visitor um, to, let's say, increase the motivation and the, co the competition, the goals, the challenges, to make the game more enjoyable and, um, and interactable at the same time. Um, uh, as you can see, this is different type of learning aspects. So the idea about gamification is to have an enjoyment and interactable um, game and also have a game learning outcome of it. So um, as you can see in this um, footage here, 
Um, this is how the game starts. So we first, we want to introduce um, uh, the visitors, uh, or let's say familiarize them with the actual game. So we added a tutorial at the beginning. So this tutorial, the um, participants um, will be familiarized with the game inputs. So here the challenge is to, let's say, the player need to um, locate themselves from one point to another. So this way he can, the player will, will, be, will know how to navigate inside the game. So the next quest is, for example, uh, one of the quests in the game, according to the mechanics we, we build, is to collect the keys. Um, this kind of puzzle mystery, we added an atmospheric uh, um, um, theme to it to make it more like a story. Um, so um, different puzzles the player need to solve, um, as you can see here. Uh, one of the during the, the game, the player will can gain knowledge by reading posters um, and gain scores at the same time. So this is will keep him motivated. And one of the puzzles is to um, um, let's say solve the shelf. Um, uh, so we need the player need to collect different books inside this office, and then um, he can unlock the next achievements. Uh, so the final. Um, stage in this game is to find the car. So this is the car, Frederick Lanchester car. Um, so this guy is introducing a, 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 the, 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 the visitors to the car. So the visitors got the opportunity to open the doors, see it, navigate inside the car. Um, and also the can, um, one of the big challenge is to how the player can um, use these, um, engines um parts and uh, to, to 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 start up the engine let's say so there's, there's different parts of the engines and the the, the player uh, need to assemble the engine parts um so and the ends as you can see here the player can see the time the score the interaction points and this is the overall level achievement um and in the game we also i uh, managed to create this uh, heat map tracking system which is already included in the ethics form of the PhD. So the player already know about this, but this is also allow us to track the player inside the game. So we can see where is the um, heat points or, or where is the player is focusing on in the, inside the map and where what time he spent the most inside the level. Um, so we can increase, we can analyze this data later and see how we can improve it. And if there is any area need to be um, improved inside the game. Um, um, we, back in April, we successfully managed to test this at Geelong Design Week. Um, so we got um, a fast glance about what's the reaction of the people uh, there. And we took that um, and improved this um, game so back in july as celebration of coventry city of culture we 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 tested this um the game the first beta version in the transport museum in coventry uh, we managed to recruit around 50 participants at the museum alone and we also managed to test it at coventry campus here in the uk so the overall participant is 81 so far and uh, it is the Target. This is, I think, it's a good um, um, sample size to to do to have um, a good uh, data to see where is uh, the direction of uh, our game um, and our research. So, as you can see, these um, are participants at the museum. Um, uh, so um, there was some challenges um, regarding the controllers, uh, especially because not all of participants adopted to VR. So um, the challenge is how we can make it more intuitive for, for them. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is one of the analysis results we got. So, um, so as you can see, the learning outcome more in scenario number one, while scenario number two got more in terms of um, interaction and immersiveness, then that's because of the um, controllers um, inputs that allow that that maybe distracted the participants. So this is 
Um, I will leave you now with a short um, footage from the game. I hope you can hear the sound. So this is the menu, first the player. As I mentioned, this is the um, tutorial. So this is an AI narration, by the way. Uh, so this can be replaced at any any point. So here the player need to collect these cubes and place them in the slots. And this way the player can know where, what exactly the game inputs. So here we got three different scenarios. So we got gamified scenario, we got narrated scenarios, and we also got immersive scenario. So in this video, I will demonstrate to you the gamified one. Um, so the player can start and move on to the actual uh, scenario. So in, in, inside the game, when, when I was recruiting participants, I already started that for them. So, um, so there will start from here actually. Um, after the induction. And of course, in VR, it looks different. It's more immersive. This is because it's a video. Um, it doesn't interpret the actual experience. It, in VR, it's completely different. Um, and it's much more clearer. Um, So this is the garage. The garage is closed. The main mission is to find and unlock the doors to, to, to reach the car. Um, So this way, this way the player will gain knowledge during the journey. So and now we can unlock, for example, um, we can collect the keys and unlock the door and gain score at the same time. So and now we're moving forward to the next puzzle, which is um, the bookshelf, so we need to player need to solve the book. Um, and we'll see now. And also we create an escape part. So if the player couldn't solve the puzzle, he can escape this part if, it's, if the player found it difficult to solve. 
So this is one of the issue uh, we face during uh, the recruitment. So we can see there's different blueprints to the car. Um, let's see now. So there is an arrow the player need to follow. So this is one of the puzzles. It's quite people find it. Um, the visitors find it quite uh, fun and also maybe complicated. So this is crane. The crane. One of the mission is to let's say pull using the this um, magnets pull one of the right um, content to the target area yeah to unlock let's say to unlock to achieve something or, or let's say to unlock the door or so now the power is on The blur now he can reach the bar is on now the blur can open and push the button and now the bar is on so um so this is the main achievements so yeah so there's in the blur, the mission now is to assemble the engine how the player can assemble the engine so now, as you mentioned, this is the door. Um, we can open the door, we can see it's inside the car. Now there's four different components of the engine. The idea is to um, use the controllers and assemble it in the right place, which is in the back trunk here. So there is a ghost, um, colors to put the, it will lead the player in ex exactly where you need to put uh, the, the actual component. So there's two pieces left here. So you can see it's time, the score, the interaction, the overall level achievements. So uh, in the end, we will just introduce um, the inventor, which is Frederick Lanchester himself. And yes, um, that's it. Thank you for listening. <laughs>